I'm Terry Gisbicio, and we're talking detox. This is part three of the detox series. And so we've come off a lot of packaged foods, added sugar, caffeine if you can do it. Ideally, you do want to try it and see how you feel without it. Gluten, soy, and dairy. Those are the biggies. Those are the things that, you know, uh, an expert nutritionist or a naturopathic doctor is going to say, you want to see how you feel? Let's take you off those things and see what happens. Now, it's important to sort of tune in and notice how you felt without them. You may miss cupcakes and brownies and stuff, but you may notice that your belly feels a little flatter. I noticed that about myself. And notice maybe your digestion was smoother, or maybe you just had more energy and you felt more clear. These are things to watch for. Now, after you've been off it for a week or two, I mean, the longer you can try doing this, the better. What Dr. Brooke Calling told me to do is to add these foods back in one at a time every couple days. Now, a real elimination diet takes six weeks or more, but if you just want to try a mini one, try having one form of dairy you know, on one day. If you're just going to do milk, do milk in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, and see how you feel. If you feel great, three days later, go on to your next food. Maybe you add in, uh, you try whole grain bread, and you just do that in the morning. Maybe you have some for breakfast, then for lunch, and you have some around dinner, just to see how you feel. Now, some kinds of a form of food may make you feel worse than another. You won't know till you try it out. But you slowly add these things back in or challenge them back in. And how about this? You eat what makes you feel good. That's what I'm doing. If you want recipes, though, and ideas for what you can eat, I will give a little plug here to the Power Foods book, which is Whole Living's um, new book. And there's plenty of gluten-free recipes in there and foods that have great nutrition. Also, wholeliving.com, you can find lots of recipes there, too. So don't think that there's nothing to eat. I guarantee you there's plenty. We'll talk to you next time.